Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday early morning. It is just about 6.30 and I am at my WW workshop. So I'm ready to go in, weigh in, stay for the meeting. Today is a very busy day for me. I have something kind of exciting going on today and if all goes well, I will finally be able to share with you these huge life updates that I wanna share. So stay tuned. Cross your fingers that today goes well for me. So let's talk a little bit about my last week. So overall, I had a really good week. I did walk three days. There was one day that I didn't walk. It was Wednesday because it was raining when I got up in the morning and then it ended up just being a really busy day the rest of the day. But I walked Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday. My legs are a bit sore from walking yesterday. I hiked up this pretty long extensive hills so my legs are a bit sore but it was a gorgeous morning the weather in the morning has been awesome it's even been a bit chilly which is crazy for july here so it's been great as far as exercise goes of course i did miss one day that i wanted to walk but i ended up getting almost 10,000 steps that day just doing things around my house i did some shopping around some errands so it ended up being okay, even though I didn't exercise. And as far as eating went, it went pretty well. I did do the Wendy plan again this last week. It went well, but I'm going to say that I'm not feeling confident in my weigh-in. Uh, I did weigh myself midweek and I was actually up like two and a half pounds, which was very random. I, I did have quite a salty meal, as you saw in my What I Eat on My Cheat Day video on Saturday, but this was like Wednesday or Tuesday. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just not that confident in my weigh-in, but maybe I'll be surprised when I step on the scale this morning. So speaking of scale, I'm going to head in for my workshop, weigh in, and I'll be back to share with you not only my weigh-in, but this week's topic recap. Hi guys, welcome back. I just finished my workshop. So I want to talk a little bit about the topic that we discussed. It was a great topic. It's definitely one that I struggle with, and that is boredom. How to conquer boredom. And I want to discuss with you guys two different types or scenarios of boredom that we encounter on our Weight Watchers or our healthy eating journey. Number one is boredom of the program. So what happens when we get bored. We get bored with the food that we're eating. We get bored with tracking. We get bored with the program in general. What can we do to conquer that boredom? So what I would say is number one, change up what you're eating. We all, or a lot of us get in a rut on Weight Watchers or really on whatever eating plan that we're on. We, we consistently eat the same thing. We know the points. We know that it tastes good. We know that it's going to fit in our points for the day because it's something that we eat all the time. So for example, maybe we eat eggs every day for breakfast or maybe every day for a snack, we have Greek yogurt and berries. Change it up a little bit add some new foods, go to the grocery store, scan, scan, and scan until you find some new snacks or some new foods that you can try. That will re-energize you and re-excite you about the program by just having new foods and new things that you can try. Change up your food. I think that is huge in conquering boredom on the plan and boredom of the foods that you're eating. Also, we can get bored tracking. Maybe change that up too. Track on paper for a few days instead of in your app. Or maybe pre-track your food first thing in the morning so that you don't have to worry about it throughout the day. Not only will it help keep you on track, but you don't have to rem remember to go back and track every time that you eat a meal. Unless, of course, you change up what you had originally planned to eat, then of course you would have to go and update that. But try changing up your tracking a little bit to make it exciting again. Or maybe if you know what you're eating and your food is pretty consistent for the week, maybe don't track for a few days. I know that that is a huge Weight Watchers no-no, but if you're one of those people that eats the same thing every day, you know what the points are. So if you're going to be consistently eating the same food that you know what the points are, maybe skip tracking maybe for a day just to give yourself a break and regenerate that excitement about tracking your food again. 
And I think the third thing with boredom on the plan is boredom in our exercise. Again, change it up. Change up your exercise. Go on a walk outside one day. Maybe go to the gym. Maybe join a gym or test it out for a few days on one of those free passes and really just change up your exercise. Not only will that keep you from being bored of your exercise, it's also really good for your body to change up the exercises that you're doing rather than doing the same thing for an extended period of time. Our body gets used to it. It doesn't have the same benefit to our body. So there's a lot of ways that you can just simply change up the exercise that you're doing for a few days or a week and see if you can try something new. Maybe go to a class that you've never went to, a jazzercise class, a body pump class. Maybe try one of those out to see if that re-excites you about exercise. So I think that we, those of us that have been on the program for a while, I know there's a lot of people that have been on this program for years. I think getting bored is gonna happen. You just have to change it up. And that's the reoccurring theme here with conquering boredom on the program is change it up. Change up your food, change up your exercise, and change up your tracking. And I think that you'll have a whole new program and a whole new excitement for the program, whatever it is that you're following all over again. The other thing with boredom is boredom eating. Over here, guys, this girl, she is a true definition of bored eating. I find that when I am working on the computer or watching TV or just relaxing, all I want to do is snack. And I don't want broccoli. Like, let's be honest. I want chips. I want something sweet. I want ice cream. I want things that aren't good for me when I'm bored. So what can you do to conquer boredom eating? Number one, and the one thing that you can do every time without fail that will conquer boredom eating is get up and do something. Whether it's clean your bathroom, go on a walk, pet your dog, whatever it is, just keep your hands, your mind, and your body busy and you won't want food. It works every single time. Whenever I'm just sitting there watching TV and I want snacks, I will change up my show, or I will get up and move around during the commercials. Anything that you can do to take your mind off of food, do it. Another thing that you can do to conquer boredom eating is go to bed. If it's the evening and you're watching TV and all you want to do is snack, go to bed. You won't have to eat because you're sleeping. So that's always a good thing to do if you find yourself wanting to boredom eat at night. Also, you can brush your teeth. First of all, we don't want to re-dirty up our teeth. And I people always say, well, I can brush them again. Yes, my friends, you can, but we're less likely to eat after we brush our teeth because one, we don't want to make our teeth dirty again, and two, nothing tastes good. Nothing tastes good with the residue of toothpaste in your mouth because it's minty, it makes everything taste weird, so you're not going to want to eat if you brush your teeth. So the common theme with eating when you're bored is get up and do something. Do something else that either occupies your mind or your body, or both to keep you from eating. Now, if that urge is still there after you've went on a walk, or you've gotten up and walked around your house, or you've done a chore, then go ahead and eat something. Maybe you are really, truly hungry. But by taking the time to really think about Am I bored? Is that why I'm hungry? Okay, let me do something else that will keep me from being bored so that I can really determine if I'm actually hungry or if I just want to eat because I'm bored. If you're still hungry after all of that, then go ahead and have a snack. Just try your absolute best to make it a healthy snack. Make sure it's within your points for the day. And if you have to splurge, just splurge on a small amount. So instead of eating an entire chocolate bar, have a piece of a chocolate bar or an entire bag of chips, have a couple of chips. Just don't overdo it, especially at night before you go to bed. I find that I don't sleep as well if I go to bed really hungry or if I've eaten a really heavy meal or heavy dessert, I don't sleep as well. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that works for me is if I find myself getting hungry in the evenings, which happens a lot, you know, after I've eaten dinner, after I've eaten dessert, I've had all my points for the day. If I find myself getting hungry, one thing that I will do several times a week is I'll have a cup of hot tea. Not only am I putting something in my stomach, so there's a liquid that I'm putting in my stomach, but it has flavor. So it satisfies those cravings for food because my tea is flavored. Make sure it's a non-caffeine or a low caffeine tea if you struggle with that before going to bed. But I find that having a hot cup of tea at night really not only satisfies my cravings, but it also helps me sleep. That warmness that you get from a hot cup of tea. So there's a lot of things that you can do to, to combat 
boredom eating. I think these are just a few. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind of things that you do when you find yourself wanting to eat out of boredom or what do you do when you find yourself bored with the program. So let's get into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, overall on the Wendy plan, I feel like I had a really good week. I did exercise three days, but I just had that gut feeling that I wasn't going to lose. And it, you can tell, we can tell in our body, just the way that we feel, not necessarily in our clothes because we're not gaining a substantial amount of weight or anything where it's going to affect our clothes, but we know our bodies and we know in our gut if we've gained or if we've lost. I, I, feel, I really believe that we kind of have a general idea before we walk in to weigh in at our workshop. So when I got on the scale today, I actually gained 0.2. Now, can I explain why I gained 0.2? Absolutely not. I have no idea. I was within my points. In fact, I didn't even eat all my weeklies because on the Wendy plan, I end up having weeklies left over at the end of the week. So I couldn't tell you why I gained point two. It could be soreness in my muscles. It could be water retention. I mean, it is such a small amount. It really could be just about anything. But yeah, not happy about gaining point two, but it is what it is. I don't have a reason behind it. I can't share with you the logistics behind why I would have gained point two. But it's a new week. I am doing the challenge with my Facebook group this week. So if you want to take part, it is not too late. All you have to do is join my Facebook group. I'll put it here on the screen. And at the very top is an announcement post that talks all about the challenge. I've given you not only a meal plan for the week, I've given you all of the recipes to create those meals for the week. So I've done all the work for you and it's a fun challenge. We're going to be giving away a ton of prizes. We're going to be doing drawings throughout the week and we're going to do a huge giveaway for for the person who loses the most on the honor system during my challenge. So definitely check out my Facebook group. I have a feeling I'm going to have a great weigh in next week because I am going to be doing the challenge right along with all of the rest of you. So I'm a little bummed out about the point to gain, but it is only point two. And really, like I said, that is such a small amount. It's two ounces. It really could be anything as to why I gained point two. It's just never fun to see a gain on the scale, especially when it really truly, in my opinion, is undeserved. But it's a new week. It's a challenge week and I'm excited to head into this week full force. I'm going to work on boredom eating. I'm going to do things different on my plan. I do find myself getting bored on the plan sometimes. So I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to do a few things to alleviate boredom on the plan and bored eating for the week. So I want to hear down in the comments below, how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? I'd love any tips and tricks that you have for combating boredom on the program and boredom eating I'm sure all of the rest of us would love to hear all of your suggestions on things that you do on your program. And if you're new to my channel, I would like to extend a huge warm welcome. I do these weekly weigh-ins every week and I tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about my week and my weigh-in. And I also recap the topic every week as well. So make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Leave me all your info, all your tips, all your tricks. And of course, I want to hear how your week went. Stay tuned after this for the recipe on the back of the weekly. You guys, it looks so good. I really think I'm going to make this. And I don't make a lot of the recipes, but this one looks outstanding. So stay tuned right after this for the recipe. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.